Amon, we got another one that seems specially designed for you. Is Uh-oh. this? Yeah. Answer correctly. Let me freaking clickbait it. Jesus, you shot down <laughs> my other one. Uh, is this the best? Is SMT Five the best RPG on Switch? Not. Not for you. What's better? I can think of many. Uh, best RPG on the Switch. Man, okay, now you're putting me on the spot. I I personally enjoyed Bravely D2 a little bit more, just, just speaking from games that came out uh, last year. Uh, basically, any RPG that has um, <laughs> an above-average story is probably going to is probably going to be one i'm trying to think of another one i can't think i was thinking of you know octopath traveler but no that doesn't have a good enough story for me to say it's better than than smt5 uh what else is you're you're like a big story guy i do when it comes to rpgs uh they have to have a good narrative for me they have to have a good everything rpgs is about story it's one of the most important um genres that where the story really doesn't matter for me uh if you're playing an rpg if you're, the story is not good you know i don't care teddy but in terms of but in, but i still love the game so you, you shit all over it teddy what do you think <laughs> fuck yeah uh it's the best one i've played on switch uh, and that i've beaten and then you know, of course, I haven't beaten all of them. I'd love to try like Xenoblade Chronicles, and I know it's more of an action RPG, so you know, then we're going into that distinction. I don't play uh, RPGs for the same reason all the time. So I do appreciate that uh, Aman distinguished between, you know, like for him, you know, like narrative ones are important. They are important for me too. For SMT, I don't know that's why I come into the game. I had mentioned several things before, such as the customization and exploration. This brings me back to Terry309 when he had like that six category topic and he's like, what kind of gamer are you? Well, I mean, I mentioned it, you know, I, I really like exploration. That's my number one. And I found that it was very rewarding in this game going for glory, for glory. And also uh, for, you know, builds and also team building. And I have like, you know, I'm still going through and I'm trying to get all my demons. I think that's a massive boon in this game. Like if you compare this to every other Pokemon, it's just a pain in the ass to try and get all the Pokemon. And that's the whole point. It's like, got to catch them all. SMT does Pokemon's job better in terms of everything, in terms of exploration, in terms of uh, collectability, even in terms of narrative, which, you know, although it's kind of flubbed in this one, the overall scope is way darker and deeper than any Pokemon game could hope to be. So I know uh, maybe it's I'm, I'm being selectively biased here, comparing it to Pokemon and also rooting it in my own nostalgia, but it is the RPG I was most excited to play and go through on my personal Nintendo Switch over the past two years. This is a game I've probably been waiting for. I think it's hey, one thing of- for... Oh, oh go ahead. no, go ahead. I was just going to say, hey, Teddy, thank you for reminding me because now that you mentioned it, I like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 more oh than my this. I haven't played God. the. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I also like Fire Emblem Three Houses more as well, which is a tactical turn based oh RPG. But, the, but, <laughs> but those I prefer. But, yeah. Tactical RPG and Waifu Simulator. Just keep it in your That's pants. Like, keep it in your pants, Otaku. <laughs> Jesus. Um, uh. I, the only one I can safely say I like more than SMT5 is Dragon Quest XI. I would put that over this game. Okay, that one too. Um, yeah, I'm on. Get it. No, I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I think it's definitely one of the best. And if if you need a counter, I mean, they kind of counter each other, Dragon Quest and SMT in a lot of ways. So you can kind of get the best of both worlds by just playing both. So, But uh, it's certainly up there. Especially if you want a challenge, I think it's it's good. Uh, I did give this my game of the year award for 2021 on the button mappers, so it certainly gets my respect. I I love this game, uh, and I'm super happy for it. I guess final thoughts, um, Aman. What are your final thoughts on SMT5? You had to give a quick review of it, and, and your your final thoughts. Go ahead. Great game, minus a couple of things here and there that I disliked about it which we talked about of course you know the dungeons and the story besides those two things love the exploration 
love the demons, love the design, love the uh, the voice act, well, no, the, the voices. There's a, there's voice acting in there as well, but the overall aesthetic of the game phenomenal. Definitely a must play. 